Welcome to session 64 of this game. <laughs> last time. Uh, <laughs> last time. Uh, the court was greeted by Bren and his companions in Lavender Falls, uh, who will be escorting the party during their time in Mornren. Before heading towards the capital, though, they were given the option to enjoy the sights. So major cliff ju jumping allowed everyone to cool off after the long trek on boat. Before finally heading out, though, Bren pulled Melky aside and revealed that the dead prince may not actually be dead after all, which definitely would put a wrench in some plans. Before calling it for the night, a set of fallen trees in the road turned out to be some sort of plant creature nearly killed their escort and carriage driver. And then during watch, Velky and Lord discovered news of courage had been given to the cleric from Gregson. And with that, I welcome everyone to the kingdom of Spring Keep. This is, but it's a very poor one. It probably comes from not wanting to lose more people. I will do whatever it takes to get where I want and where I want to go. I wanted it to come from me. I wanted to show you guys myself. So, uh, last time we actually ended right in the middle of watches. Um, that was when Velky and Lore were discussing the note about courage, um, and which Lore asked Bren if he'd like to look at church secrets. Oh, yeah. And then he promised he won't tell them that I have church secrets. Yeah, so uh, um, if you guys would like, we could continue watches, or we could just say it's the next morning and continue on. I don't even remember who's supposed to be on what watch anymore. No, nope, don't remember shit. I don't either. I forgot that I told him about church secrets. Yeah, you. Well, you, you didn't technically. You didn't I tell, didn't him, tell about him about the church secrets. secrets. I forgot that I offered him. Yes. The chance to uh, look with, at that. Yeah, yeah. Your offer was if you promise not to tell anybody, you can come look <laughs> at these. To which his response was, if I look at those, I'm going to have to tell someone. Yeah. Good on him for being honest. I'm glad that he didn't come look at them then. Well, I don't know. Watches is always a fun way to uh, warm people up to game. Mm -hmm. But so I guess I'm... that would also depend. Yeah, it depends on uh, Kushana, Anatase, and Zintris if there's anything they wanted to discuss or do during the night. I don't think I have anything. Not really. I might have, and then I've completely forgotten, so I may just need yeah. like some time to, to work, work the brain back. And there will um, obviously be moment in, in Pleawood. I got nothing. Okay, um, then I will move our day counter over and say it is the next day. Um, as you're waking up, hey, Lore. Yes. Would you like the good news or the bad news? Can we start with the bad news and then the good news? Sure. 
um, the bad news is, as you're uh, waking up, you're noticing you can't really feel your arm. Mm. What is the good news? Uh, it doesn't hurt. Mm. Okay. That That is good news. Yeah. That would have been funnier in the other way, but... No, it was good this way. Don't you worry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Laura, you're kind of noticing that you're not really able to move your arm as much, um, if any. And you can't really feel it at this point. Um, definitely major nerve damage. Um, but that's fine, because you're going to get a replacement soon. Nerve damage? My nerds. <laughs> I said nerve. You did. <laughs> yeah, but we're nerds. The nerd damage is when your nerd friends get roll. hit. <laughs> nerd damage is what I'm going to do to you later. When I go. <laughs> Sounds so ominous. <laughs> anyway. Um... Yeah, uh, as oh as the sun is rising now and getting there, um, you're kind of noticing that in this forest, it's a lot more uh, humid than you initially felt when you got in. Having been here for a day, you're now kind of realizing how hot, um, even for the fall, um, that it is. But it smells great. This forest smells have, incredible. Can I have a check to see if that's uh, too hot for me? too hot for you um yeah give a nature check you gonna like melt find the damn thing no he likes the warm oh even better he spent so much time in the desert uh 15 15 definitely not too warm for you and it's not anything like um the heat of the desert but it's like wet the wet heat. yeah it's the wet heat which feels different and maybe you you can decide if that makes Velky a little more uncomfortable or not sticky um but yeah the there's at least a bit of a breeze swaying the leaves and pines way way above you all um and Velky, before you get the chance to cook any breakfast, um, no. it has already been made. Gasp. Gasp. All right, time to kill them. <laughs> uh, Kayla had made the uh, breakfast for everybody, uh, mostly vegetables. Time to kill them. Oh, it's Velky's people. <laughs> vegetables? Yes, no. vegetables, the thing that's not meat. <laughs> People, <laughs> our party needs vegetables. a lot more of. Yeah, I'm like, we could use vegetables. I don't know why Valky's related to vegetables, but that's fine. He used to make vegetables. Never mind. I know, I'm literally joking. I understood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get a nice, uh, nice breakfast of fresh uh, veggies. Um, they even have out some uh, breads and cheese. And so many vegetables. So many vegetables. Mushrooms, peppers. Um, the only vegetables I can think of off the top of my head. Damn. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, wow. Carrots, corn, Oh, yeah. Those things exist. Onions. <laughs> Green Corn. onions, Brussels sprouts, cucumbers, broccoli, zucchini, eggplant, broccoli. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's on top of this. Brussels sprouts, <laughs> cabbage, eggplant. Lettuce, eggplant. We had eggplant already. I think you lettuce. said it, Matt. I know. I was no, just. I said broccoli. No, yeah, I was just repeating everything Matt said so oh. louder. <laughs> um, but yeah. You guys can have a nice little breakfast. If there's anything you want to do before leaving, you guys can get on the road again. Uh, I don't know. I should definitely probably tell people about my arm being all fucked. It, it, are you trying to hide it at all? 
No. Then it's probably pretty noticeable. Okay, everybody I mean, knows know that, ha that happened. Yeah. yeah. Is, it looking looking like, like, is it a wrong just, color? This is a new fucked. It is in a sling. If I remember correctly, I, I, I slinged it up, but that's the best I could do under yeah, this situation. Yeah, and probably yeah. not in the sling while sleeping. Yeah, probably not. Do I wake up and I just roll over and I'm next to like a dead arm? What happened? <laughs> Ew. It's, it's too cold. <laughs> it's not like a corpse or anything. <laughs> <laughs> like there's still blood flow. You mean I don't get a cool skeleton arm? <laughs> I reject. <laughs> you Go can back. picture it, it however you want. Um, no, I is... don't want that. <laughs> I already drew it. It happened already. That's what happens. <laughs> No, it's cool. I want it as a person, but I don't want it because Yanthe, so... Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> well, there's something I want to do, I guess, to get it out of the way, but... Okay. I don't know if Lore wants to do his thing first, so... You could do your thing first. Okay, I just want to go behind a tree and pray for a minute. <laughs> okay. Uh, so how are you going to pray? Well, I'll take both the totems out of my bag because I still don't really know how this works. <laughs> Put them on a little rock okay. or tree root or something, something elevated, a little uh, handkerchief underneath. And then I will pray. Is there anything in particular you say or you just kind of mull over things? I don't know, the last time I said something, it was terrifying. Yeah, I might be able to ask, I'll ask the same question again. <laughs> I asked last time, <laughs> just to the benevolence of the world. If anybody answers, that's cool. If not, that's also vibing. Um, yeah, I think that question was just, uh, like, can you tell me who you are or who are you? Whatever the words were. <laughs> Uh, you don't get a response, um, but uh, as you're praying, the totem for the other god um, glows, and you'll switch over your bonus damage to Radiant. Um, yeah. And then as the glow fades, the totem for Shatir cracks. Ugh, this needs little. to end. No. Enough. Okay, how do I upgrade again? Uh, you I'll can either take yeah. <laughs> uh, you can either well, no, I believe uh, did I pin it? I thought did I you? might have pinned it to you. We have so many pin messages. I'm aware. All of them are stupid. <laughs> I don't think you did. No, it doesn't look like I did. Um, jump. You can either upgrade. Um, you can either take another D4. Or you can upgrade uh, two d4s to a d6, two d6s to a d8, and so on. Oh, okay, yeah, that's how it was. Yeah, so it's either take another dice or upgrade whatever amounts you want. Well, so if you take could another... both. What? You could do both, like upgrade your d two d4s to one d6, and two d6s to one d8 if you wanted. You could do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to upgrade to a, a 1d6 with my 1d4, so I'll add another 1d4. Okay. Which means I get 3d6s overall. I think. Yeah. All right. And I'll mark down. Da -da -da. So now both of your deities are a little cracked. Yeah. Both of them are bad. 
they don't look destroyed um just little cracks in them all right so uh when you come back out from uh your little space though um you see bren had been watching where you had gone and uh is just smiling as you return doesn't say anything for all he knows i could have gone to take a pee yep good for him okay join my group all right uh then lore elki can you please look at this it looks really bad this morning Look at what? Your arm? My arm. Yeah. Do you want to It's gotten remove worse. your shirt? <laughs> or roll up the yeah. sleeve or something? <laughs> yeah, I can roll up my sleeve. Yeah. It looks... It, I, so I can't feel it anymore. Which is kind of nice, but also not. Okay. First, scan for physical damage. Give me a medicine check. <laughs> you tell me you can't see it? Good. <laughs> so a scan for physical damage? Yeah. Check. Like, looking for, for new physical damage. It's 15 plus 7. 22. Uh, with a 22, it doesn't look like there's anything new going on here. And, like, technically speaking, it the magic, like, healed it physically from before. Um, especially with the like lingering effects of that um, it just looks like it had been too much for the arm to take um, you could definitely tell like as you're like are you just looking it over or are you also like touching well I'm going to move on to that <laughs> as, as you move on to the touch um, you can definitely tell that they aren't really able to feel as you like squeeze and poke and maybe a little harder than you should and there's no response um, well, I have a thing that I can do. That's even worse. It'll be fun. It's okay. Okay. Take a dagger out of my pack. <laughs> <laughs> like a pin. <laughs> Don't panic. Just very uh, lightly take the, uh, the the tip of the, you know, and I'll, I'll poke gently at his fingers, his fingertips, the soft pads of them. Little fingers. If you feel anything at all, it's very numb. No, you can you can you can feel the movement. Like if you've ever had to get stitches when mm, they like yeah. freeze the area, it's like, oh I know like something's happening, but I don't really feel it. It's like or also even like when you're in like surgery when you can't feel it but you know that something must be going on in there. Yeah, you feel movement, like you feel you're being tugged or pushed but you're not really feeling the sharpness of it yeah no I don't feel that as much as I probably should be then it's probably time uh, unfortunately it looks like we might have to uh, amputate or you can just leave it the way it is yeah, yeah it'll just have this yeah. weird kind of dead arm as a decoration I mean, you wouldn't be able to play. <laughs> That's the downside. I know. No, I gotta go get it amputated I, or something. I don't know. Arm um, doctor who can, you know, fix the muscle, I guess. I don't know if that's anybody. I don't know if that's a thing, actually. But It's not your muscle, it would be your nerves. Oh, yeah. Well, that's even worse. That's even harder. Um, I will say, as you're doing this test, um, Jerry, you can decide at what point up your arm you actually get feeling. If this is going to be full replacement at the shoulder, at the elbow, I'll let you aesthetically decide what's going on. Below so, or above? <laughs> I was thinking above the elbow, but below the shoulder, so it's like mid, like, arm. Bicep? Yeah, mid bicep, thank you. Okay. Mid calf of your arm. <laughs> Mid arm calf, <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Yeah, it's like your your knee pit. Yeah, exactly. 
All right. So then, yeah, uh, you know, you got feeling up at that point, but everything below it's muted to nothing. Um, so, yeah, uh, an arm doctor that can fix the muscle probably isn't going to work here. Mm. What was the name of the guy that I was talking about or talking to last night? Sorry, I've, his name Bren. is Bren. My, Bren. Thank you. I'm like, his name has left my mind immediately. Yeah, you have your three I... companions, um, Bren, Kayla, and Sean. So I'm going to go talk to Bren. Hello, Bren. Hello. Wide smile. I, okay. You're quite chipper this morning. Anyways, um, do you by any chance know if there's anyone, like, probably in the capital that can, like, do extensive arm surgery extensive arm surgery what kind of surgery are you talking um well we not quite sure Valky says probably nerves so maybe someone who can just like restring nerves I don't know if that's how that works it's gonna most likely be amputation to be honest I don't think that's a thing <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a thing in real life that's what I mean. Like, <laughs> experience. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> Maybe if this was a different setting far in the future. Uh, well, I don't know anything about that. Amputation, certainly. There are plenty of doctors. Um, if you're looking for a prosthetic replacement, there is one as well. Yeah, probably that. Uh, I imagine this is a urgent matter. It's getting there. Yeah, it's definitely doing worse than it was yesterday. So, yeah, you how long to the capital? Uh, we should be getting there later today, as long as everything okay. goes well. Um, and thankfully, uh, they are stationed near the entrance that we'll be taking, so we should be able to stop there on the way and see what uh, needs to be done. Okay, that is good. Thank you. Of course. I don't think the cliff diving helped. Probably not. It was worth it, but probably not. No. There's never been cliff diving, you know? Like, how am I supposed to not cliff dive? Oh, I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want to miss out, just because my arm's all fucked. I don't know. I, uh, I'm trying to be cool about this, but honestly, I'm really freaked out. I know it's kind of funny, and I don't know, I guess, irony that my parents both have a prosthetic. But I don't love it. I'm sure you don't have to do it alone. No, I hope not. <laughs> I'm sure they would let at least one of us in the room. Right? Um, I want all of you in the room. Open surgery. <laughs> yeah. But I want everybody to be holding my hand, but just the one that isn't messed up, everybody can hold a different <laughs> finger. I, I was going to ask, darling, do you, do you mean the one you're losing or the one we're keeping? No, I mean, who says we can't keep the one losing? Well, you know. Oh my gosh. So right now we're losing it. <laughs> oh, I mean, it would be kind of funny if then happy you like hold the hand that gets chopped off, and then you could just like wiggle it around a bit. Do you feel it's it like now? Oh, are yes. you touching one? Oh, oh no! Like yes, like we would grab you, right? And we'd be oh, two, one on. Well, how many of us are there? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We would split between both arms, and then we could be like, "Do you feel it now?" And we could poke it. Be like. Hey, you know, I mean, maybe I'm not gonna go like kicking and screaming. Like I'll I'll go willingly. So you guys just need to hold my hand so I'm not by myself. We could maybe we'll wait right outside the door. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could always see if I can just keep my arm. I could put it in like a jar or something. Yes, we'll pickle it. <laughs> I was thinking more strip it to the bone, make it like point, 
make it one of those like wind things. What what no, if you like if what what if they couldn't save it, right, darling? But then like they have to cut it off. But we then turn it, right, all the bones, into like a new instrument for you. That would be pretty cool actually. Um Here's a quick hypothetical question. If you take someone's arm and cast true resurrection on it. Michael, stop. That was my idea. <laughs> Fuck off. Do you grow <laughs> another <laughs> lore? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty. Sh I'm pretty sure there's an episode of Doctor Who about that. There might be. It sounds familiar. Yeah, I they did it with Tenet. Gonna take a pinky. Okay, I'm like, I, I do not remember. Just in case. I was thinking. Was. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't bring him back. <laughs> Make a backup lore. Yeah, our lab-grown lore. Don't worry about it. That'll be the third lore. <laughs> <laughs> my genetically grown lore, my test tube lore. So what I'm hearing is we get need back to Laura's never... parents, and here's the replacement Good for lore. the replacement. It's third iteration of lore. <laughs> Nobody liked my wind thing idea, though. I was too busy screaming over the fact that Michael stole my idea from my head. <laughs> oh yeah. No, what but you, you know those like up? wind those wind things, you know, when they like blow the wind and it tells you which way the wind is coming? The socks? weather vane? What? A weather vane. Like, well, a weather vane, yeah. Said. Yeah. We could make it Windsock so that it... is also correct. <laughs> Windsock is correct, but not what I'm thinking of. Um no, we could make it like point and put it on the top of our our wagon and then it could just like point. You want wind. to turn your severed arm into a weather vane <laughs> on the top of our wagon. I can't even begin to tell you how insane that is. <laughs> that is somehow more insane than the thought of growing another lore. <laughs> hey, by D&D logic, it is visible. <laughs> it's doable. <laughs> That's just like one and done, easy peasy. That we'll come back in a week and Jer will have a million thoughts to use their bone arm for. <laughs> anyway, uh, so after that conversation that Bren definitely was overhearing you guys talk about. Um, overhearing? There was no keeping that secret. No. <laughs> that was a public conversation. <laughs> to be fair though, I've already decided if we don't do the weather vane, I'm going to make it so then it's like holding the cup. And I'm gonna change the cup on the stick. So then my hand is cut holding the stick, and the, or the holding. <laughs> you upgrade the cup on a stick to cup on a bone. Yeah. Cup no, I was bone. thinking that the hand was holding the cup on the stick, so it was just like tripled in size. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so Bren is gonna go discuss with the carriage driver the change in destination slightly for. Uh, Bren to... is gonna choose to leave this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Bren has left the chat. Good for him. Um, so with that, um, <laughs> you guys can continue the journey to Pleawood. Um, <laughs> again, double decker carriage. Um, this time, one of the Wren's branch is going to be sitting at the front with the carriage driver to keep lookout. Um, one of them is with one half of you and the other with the other half. Oh yeah, we have to split up. We're not all in the same area. No, nope, one's on top of the other. Is the yeah, top part we'll like to the same carriage? Is the top open? Yeah. No, it is enclosed. Oh. Boo, lame. <laughs> um, yeah, the you could tell that they are speeding up the uh, pace a little bit, both between the. Uh, unfortunate delay from the fight yesterday as well as to make sure that uh, one of their guests does not die on the way and is there anything anyone wanted to like do before you get to the city I don't know I'm gonna talk to Brent eventually 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 well, I'm gonna I'm going to sit and ponder, and then I'm going to throw one of my seeds of lilies off the back. So hopefully it grows. Um, 
you can before it's even out of sight you can already see some sprouting what no that tricks just like immediately yeah can i still see it can i like investigate that or something um you're definitely moving you can make a perception check Sixteen. Yeah, I mean, as you're pulling like further and further away, you just kind of see that where you've thrown the seed, there's already like little green sprout growing. Okay. Is that a new thing? Do we know why it's doing that? Am I just not remembering something that happened in the last games? I'm assuming because Druid land. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, that's all. Okay. Um, then I will pull us over. And that requires me actually grabbing the player's banner. There we go. All right. So, welcome to Plywood. <laughs> Uh, the capital of the province. The uh, wall, the it's a walled settlement surrounding the largest tree you've seen. And all the trees have been massive. And the one in the center of the city uh, towers even above them. Um, the branches covering a large section of uh, the city, giving some decent shade. Um but aside from so, that one major tree, the rest of the city is kind of like opened in a large clearing of this uh, never-ending forest. Um, the uh, terrain is kind of hillier here. Um, not as even. You can see like there's layering to the city as you get in through Cabbage Road. Um but what's uh, very noticeable above all else is that within the giant tree in the middle, you can see the white stone uh, palace matching that of Nock and Ar Arden, uh built either around or out of the tree. It's kind of hard to tell um, at what point it is tree and at what point it is stonework. Um, and there's a very clear road. However... Um, to help Lore's situation, you guys take a small detour um, towards uh, the West District. Not too far from the main road. Uh, you're probably closer to like around like over here um, to get to a shop. Not a shop. Well, a shop. Um, it kind of looks like a mechanic shop-ish. Mm, very reassuring. <laughs> uh, are you saying we found spring keeps world tree mm, no <laughs> not that thought bad. about it though <laughs> a good idea of what this kind of is like um you know avatar the last airbender the, yes. the swamp did, yeah. with the giant tree oh yeah from book two yeah it's kind of like that yeah. Um, except instead of forest being immediately surrounded, there's like an opening. I remember the swamp. This castle doesn't speak into the swamp. Um, but as you uh, are escorted inside, Lore, you can see there are a bunch of prosthetics lining the walls. Very cool. There's... Yep, this is definitely making me nervous. <laughs> there is all kinds. You have arms, you have hands, you have legs, you have feet. Um, just the feet. Just the feet. <laughs> um, not fine tuned enough that they could do individual fingers as of yet, sadly. Um, you also see like utility ones, like ones have like blades that could come out for a sword or like a shovel or an axe. Um, dude, cool. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Sure. 
Um, I feel like I would know this. Maybe just me. Um, Skydesk, they have a bunch of stuff like this too. Is this oh, yeah. like compare? Is this like comparative to that, or does is Skydesk still kind of a lot more? Uh, Skydesk like, advanced. Is- Skydusk is more advanced. Um, you can definitely tell that like models here would be kind of considered last generation. Mm. Um, but still usable by all means. Like um, there's probably some here that look somewhat similar to even ones your parents have. Because your parents definitely don't have the thought or time to keep up to date on the latest in technology for their arm or leg the no. leg fashion yeah, but and i would know that if i found like a better one i could upgrade it hey absolutely like if we went to skydesk yeah. and i was like we could just go to because i've definitely probably been to a similar shop like this absolutely you definitely know that like basically as soon as like you have the attachment for your body part uh there are some people that even have multiple like prosthetics for different necessities oh, daytime nighttime function Daytime, you have, nighttime. Your you have your can open on the town. <laughs> I was thinking a waterproof one so I could go swimming. That too. Um, but yeah, there is everything you can imagine here. Um, and you hear like a bit of tinkering going on in the back. Um, but as you enter, uh, and as who else is coming in here? Is it everybody? Everyone. Well, I am. I'm yeah. Well. Make sure well. he's okay. Yeah, I'll go in. As the door jingles multiple times, eventually um, someone comes <laughs> uh, from the back there. Um, she is a dwarf with uh, tied back but long, straight uh, black hair. Behind her goggles, you can see, see some piercing green eyes. Um, soft brown skin with a round... Uh, face um there's a large uh kind of gauge piercing in her left ear she just kind of looks over uh how can i help all y'all hello um so i'm law historia and i messed up my arm shame your help all right uh well uh, my name is Ziggle. Hello, Ziggle. Ziggle. Baby. Now, let's, uh, what are you kind of looking for? I see you have both your arms currently. You said you messed one up? Yeah, I don't really know where to go. I, I think that probably needs to be amputated, or I want to make sure that it does before we just do that, you know? Ah, uh, of course, of course, of course. Uh would be a shame to amputate something you don't have to yeah you know like oh if i eat nothing but beets it'll cure itself but how could you imagine (laughs) i cut it off living in a place that's filled with a lot of magic plants i uh don't think eating just beets is gonna cure an arm but I definitely didn't mean that one specifically i was mostly just saying the scenario you know it could be like Oh, d- jump in a pool and under the moonlight every night for two weeks and your arm will be fixed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Of course, of <laughs> course. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I do have a doctor buddy of mine that can come on over and take a look for you. I would appreciate that. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Um, and she goes in the back and she calls out to someone you don't know who. I'm um, just saying to run down the road and to get old Doc to come take a look at something. Um, and then she comes back out. So while we're uh, waiting for him to get here, um, do you mind if I just take initial look? Yeah, go for it. So uh, she looks over. You hand the proper arm, I imagine. It would be weird if I didn't. Here is my good arm. <laughs> this is what my arm should look like. No, I give her the one that's messed up. Yeah. She kind of looks over. She kind of like pokes and prods, if you allow. Mm-hmm. 
She says, well, just based off experience, uh, definitely seems like you got decent blood flow going. Um, I imagine you're not feeling any of this, though. No. Hmm. Can definitely see signs of magical healing on it. Mm -hmm. We definitely did try. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, the fact that uh, we can get some better look from Doc in a, in a bit, but kind of seems you're lucky to have kept most of it at all. Thank you. I'm glad that it wasn't blown from my arm socket. Yeah, that's never fun. We've had a couple in like that. Mm. I've seen it before. Uh, kind of gnarly. But it seems like you're in a good position. You don't need to... You're you're looking to get a prosthetic, I imagine. Yeah. Well, you don't have to get it up to the shoulder. Um, for some, that's a blessing. For some, it's a curse. Um the weight of the prosthetics probably gonna pull on your shoulder over time but uh you'll eventually build up the muscle for it okay good my arm's not just gonna like elongate no 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 they're not that heavy <laughs> <laughs> sorry unless you want something that's like steel reinforced to like punch or take blocks like a shield no i just want to play my violin and pet my ferret and hold hands and stuff hmm. okay uh, and so... I mean, and to fight with the sword too. I have other things that I do. Those are not <laughs> the only things that I do. Well, then uh, let me kind of bring you over here, and she'll show you kind of like the more standard prosthetics. Um, she says uh, these ones are pretty decent on the maneuverability. A uh, little lightweight, um, can't take hits as hard, but uh, should be able to play the violin with it. Um, is the hand you're using the one you use for the bow or for the strings? So I'm an empty, I'm a bit empty, ambidextrous. So yes. Okay. Well, uh, that's great. Um, I don't think any prosthetic currently is going to, uh, be able to find, have the fine motor skill to properly place on the strings proper. Um, so if you can use it for your bow hand, that'd be great. Uh, it's fair. Hopefully soon. I've, I've been hearing out in Skydust they've maybe come through with something, but it'll be a ways away yet. Especially yeah, to get... get good stuff up there. Yeah, especially then to get specs and stuff brought down here. And uh, it's a nightmare. I've been trying to get even like the latest stuff sent my way. Yeah. We need all those crystals to get here, like, to power them to get down here anyways, too, you know? I mean, not yeah. if they're on a person, not specifically, like, dead stock or anything. But... Yeah, we don't have a... We have quite a few people in the city, actually, that need this, so I keep a pretty high uh, stock on the crystals, but... Mm. Okay, that's good, then. Yeah. I... This is not, unfortunately, something that is very foreign to me. I... Both my parents are prosthetics. Oh. I'm from Skydesk. Oh, then you kind of know what you're looking at here. Um, yeah. I imagine the prices here are going to be a little higher than you expect, just for how far yeah. away we are. Um, the standard ones here are 750 gold. Mm, okay. If you want to get like a special one that can do some things, like we have those ones that can switch out for an axe, um, that kind oh. of stuff. Um or even like magical benefits. We have some people that uh, take on like some extra strength or agility with them. Um, I have a enchanter that comes by. Those are twelve fifty. Oh gosh! All right. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you want something that's even more custom, uh, has a couple of things going for it that takes a little bit longer to make. Uh, and those are fifteen hundred. Okay. Good stuff. Um, what was that like? Middle ground one again? Uh, middle what ground one. one uh, Twelve fifty. It can do whatever you want. I can have it enchanted, or I can uh, finesse it with some sort of tools. Um, whichever you prefer, really. That could be cool. Yeah, I like the idea of having a tool. I don't know what kind of tool I would have. 
we have a little bit of time to think um and of course this is going to come with um i'll give you a month's supply of or not a month uh sorry uh two months supply of crystal to go with it that's really generous yeah um so and at that time you hear in the back some grumbling as uh, someone walks in and uh it's a uh give me one second here to do character randomization go <laughs> yeah i'm gonna do a random characterization i'm here for it okay um this is a rather uh old gentleman um he's got uh straight brown hair dark eyes pretty rough skin um but he's still a bit bit tall uh has a white coat on uh and he comes in and is like how can i help you what do we got here so i blew my arm off but the arm is still on my body but it doesn't work very well hmm. i'm gonna have to take a look okay uh rolls up his sleeves name's jeffrey by the way Hello, uh, let's look I'm here uh signs of burn magical healing uh scrapes and cuts i imagine you've seen a bit of battle Mm -hmm. Dude, does this hurt no I can't feel that how about this no uh, okay let's see at what point uh, gets up part way up your uh, calf arm muscle <laughs> I, I, could, I could feel it right there on the calf arm the, the, the calf of the arm <laughs> okay yeah uh, yeah all right, so that's not too bad. Um, a lot of good muscle here to work with. Um, I imagine since you're here, you're looking for a prosthetic attachment. Yeah. All right. Um, definitely going to need amputation if you want that. Yeah, I figured that was the case. Okay. Um. I am free currently. I could do it now if you want. Yeah. Yeah. All my friends are here. I'm ready. All right. Uh, so um, they'll take a moment to get the back room sanitized and ready uh, for this. Um, and when you get back there, you see the person that... Um, that uh, Ziggle was talking to is probably the very small young dwarf child that's kind of like hiding behind some shelves watching nice um, and Jeffrey's gonna ask you uh, would you like to be awake for this or uh, yes okay I feel like I picked the wrong answer no I want to go to sleep I was going to say, you want to be awake to have your arm cut off. I would we, actually recommend that you... Like, there, go well, there is definitely it going to be some numbing. Like You're not going to feel a thing, I promise you. But some people are a little squeamish when... uh, Yeah. Yeah. Listen, he made it seem like that was like an okay thing to say. Some people prefer it. Um, well, I've never had arm surgery before, so whichever you would recommend. I would recommend sleeping. Sleep what through it. You wake awake. up, you don't have any traumatic memory of it. All right, sleep it is. Me, the DM, doesn't have to make you take some rolls. Ugh. Roll for pass oh, out. <laughs> um so yeah they uh they use some herbs to numb the area uh you're given a drink to put you to sleep mm. doesn't taste good oh this does not taste good and before you can even say good you're out oh this doesn't taste <laughs> 
Uh, so for everyone, Laura is now passed out. Oh, that was a lot quicker than usual. <laughs> it usually doesn't happen that fast. It's weird. Uh, and yeah, um, does anybody watch the arm amputation? 100%. 100%. <laughs> Kishana's all for it. I have to make sure the arm will be okay. I'll yeah. I'll stay in the front of the shop. It's fair. Um, it's not pretty. Um, especially when you get to the bone. Mm -hmm. um, at, it, at some points you think maybe it would be better to just lose it in battle. Quick and easy. Um... But uh, at the very least, Lore isn't giving off any cries of pain and agony, um, but is losing his arm. Now then, at what point does someone bring up that Lore wants to save the arm? Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell them that I won my arm! Uh, I'll... I'll... <laughs> I, can I, like, just see if I even recognize what they're doing? Because, like, I don't think I would look at it and be like, oh, yes, they're just, you know. I'd be like, they're professionals. Yeah, so me and Michael do not know how amputations work. Okay. Um, well, you know what? <laughs> I, what don't you understand? What don't I, I understand? Erico knows some uh, of how it I don't know work. the order of events. For an arm amputation. Um, I just know that the bone is kind of the roughest part to get through. You know yeah, what? It's fine. Part, I'll, I'll just be like, so, so you know, we're, we're trying to keep the arm, right? You, you seem to be going a little deep there. Keep the arm how? Like, like keep, keep the arm. You're supposed to just fix the arm. No, he uh, wants the leftovers of his arm. Wait, oh, the leftovers. What, what does it all want? He wants to keep what, like the. the he wants to keep part arm. That's been Ah, like off. when you lose a tooth. Oh. Exactly. Like ah. he, I've met people who have their like their feet amputated and they just keep the foot. He that's would like weird. to keep his foot, but I know okay. it's strange. <laughs> well, I um, hope Law can keep both of his feet. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, I guess. Do you have something? I didn't really prepare something to keep the arm I have options I'm sure hold on just a second do, do, do. I have a bag well, yeah we have a bag that we can oh, put in hey lol has a bag of holding yeah that's what I was just thinking I'm like I have a bag that we could put it in and nothing will happen to it for a couple days and then I will d deal with it I guess okay Grungle around for who's bag of holes. Okay, so after a while, um, the arm is completely removed. Um, who takes the arm? I'm just gonna have the bag open. He can put just it in the bag. Plop it in there. Okay. Um, make me a perception <laughs> check, Velky. Why? Because Kishana's trying to steal stuff. Kishana's trying no. to steal my arm. Kishana's no, but... not doing anything. <laughs> But I, I was thinking about maybe asking Lore later to take the arm and take maybe one of the fingies to make it our engagement ring. Yeah, I forgot I have advantage. But what about the dead man's? What about the dead man? I was going to put them together. You also need hmm. two rings. One mm -hmm. for each of That's... you. I, hmm. Okay, uh, with my advantage, natural 20 for 20. Okay. Um, as he's plopping it in... Um, the magic that is Lore's entity is very quickly fading and the arm is starting to turn white. Shove that oh, in there. Well, oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna snatch the arm. <laughs> Thank I you very much. Forgot, not forgot, but I didn't consider that was a thing that could happen. I was wondering how that was going to work. <laughs> um, but yeah, you uh, notice it very quickly enough and uh, soon enough that no one that doesn't know about it can see this happening. Uh, especially since as Jeffrey is, like, move the arm, is keeping his eyes on the now stub um, and plops the 
probably one of the weirdest things he's done is plop an arm into a bag of holding um, and starts beginning to uh, finish the amputation to seal the wound off now um, and prep People for keep their body parts all the time. Probably not like this. Yeah, I like this. There's a, a documentary actually um, where it's a whole thing because a guy loses his leg, I think it is. And he, they cure it, and then they store it in the barbecue. But then they sell the barbecue by accident, and then the people who bought the barbecue literally make it like a tourist attraction. <laughs> it's a really good movie. It's a good documentary. You yeah, ever just question your life? Ancient stories that I could tell, but now it's probably not the time. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I do not question my life. I love having obscure knowledge about amputation okay probably get along very well um. with my sister <laughs> that a defeat in michael oh my we've broken him so for the last time yeah um <laughs> he finishes the surgery um the amputation is done um begins clean up bandaging And uh, kind of looks over at the group. Uh, you guys in much of a rush? Uh, this is probably going to take a while to heal if they're looking to get a, a prosthetic put on right away. Probably going to need some magic on it. That's something I might be able to help with. That. <laughs> okay. Um,. Yeah, you could probably fix this with just like one cure wounds. You could. You could. That doesn't seem like a lot of magic. But it is not a lot of magic, but it's basically a wound. <laughs> yeah. No, I just mean like it's more like how much health like has been one night. Out. How much I, health I will... has been taken off? That's a good question. Yeah. What's that, your that would probably be the determinant. I, I would think um how much is an arm to body ratio wait am i gonna lose points because i have not an arm uh, i don't 10%? think so no i'm okay. just saying like at this did you say 12 percent i said 15 oh 15 <laughs> uh how much what's your health at their chair like what's I'm your max 45 health right now my max health is 45 like i'm health up okay. But obviously, because we slept a bunch. All right. Uh, it takes really seven points of damage. Okay. Oh, we had a long rest between then and now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn, I, That's why yeah I'm let me do that up. real quick. If they, if they start help. looking bad, then I can do healing light. Yeah, it's not like that. It's just um, they now have a wound that's only going to heal naturally. That was seven hit points worth. <laughs> okay, then yeah, I can do one one first level that'd be fine if i roll max let me go oh okay that's not bad uh six plus four yeah so brought back up um the wound is very quickly magically sealed um wait i heal that back up yeah okay sick. yeah you took seven points of damage and then Valky cure wounds you sweet high five kashana look High five the hand. The Not hand right is in the, the bag. Hand's in the if bag. I take it out, we'll people it are going to be like, why is it white? Yo. Here, I'll put oh. my hand in the bag, I'll give it a, slap, a slight tap, and then I take <laughs> my hand out. A creepy low five. It being in the bag makes it worse if you're just like low fiving it down there. So this surgery took a little while. What's Anates and Zin been up to? Contemplating their lives. <laughs> I've just been waiting out front. <laughs> I will say, um, in in the shop with you, Bren is Sean, and in the back with you guys has been uh, Bren. Bren's been real, real becoming our homie, man. Wow. Okay. Did you say in the shop with you, Bren is Sean, and in the back with? You... <laughs> I yeah, I said that's what Zin. I heard. Also, I thought I said Zen. I I, don't I think did hear did. Bren. <laughs> Brendan okay. Sean are one. In the shop with Zinn is, is uh, Sean. 
Oh my god, so many names. <laughs> in the shop with Zin is Sean. In the back with you is Bren. Okay. Where's Anate's? Where'd he go? Yeah, where is Anate's? I think Anate's well, was up in the front. Wait, didn't, I, know. I don't think Chess said. I never said where I was. Oh, okay. Where's Anate's? Uh... I don't think he's waiting outside. Okay, so then Kayla's with you. I gave on a taste miracle, by the way. I've just decided that right now. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so after a little while, uh, the healing's done. You just kind of wait a little bit more. Uh, lore, you begin to... Uh, come to would you like the good news or the bad news the good news uh your arm doesn't hurt mm, bad news there isn't an arm there god, god damn it michael <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff if i can get it in one more time it'll be really funny doubtful i like it I mean, we could do one more time. If I get my press done like, soon-ish, you could be like, the good news is that your arm is back. Bad news is it's metal. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm too simple. Um, I like it. Yeah, so how does Lore feel looking down and not having an arm? Whoa, guys, it's really gone. I don't know. I don't think he can process it. I feel like a normal person could probably not process that really fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even just like normal surgeries take forever to process. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, yeah. So bless you. If uh, Wait. Did you guys get my arm? Where is it? Oh no. I forgot. Did you? What? No. It's oh, in the bag. I'm like, it, it's okay. in the bag, darling. It's in the bag. <laughs> oh, goodness. We wouldn't like, just oh, no. do that to you. What's going to happen to you? going to feed it to a dog or something? Can feed it to my dog. Oh. I might. Mm. Okay. Oh, like the guy on Reddit with the foot. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. We'll talk about it later. I, yeah. I think I'm okay, honestly. Um, You're missing out. I don't think I am. I have both my <laughs> feet. I'm good. Um, but yeah, so it's in your bag. Um, do you want to kind of decide what you want to do with uh, your prosthetic? Yeah. Um, because she's such I, such uh, good tech at this uh, earlier when checking it over uh, Ziggle was also getting your measurements oh thanks Ziggle um, hey, wait what was the difference between the amazing one and the good one uh, the good one just, just basically has one thing either enchanted or like a tool set um, or like sword or like whatever it's just one more thing um, mm -hmm. and then the really good one can have multiple what is the price of the, the amazing one again 1500 mm, okay I have enough to do that I just oh you won't be, be fronting the cost alone no I don't mind. I'm like, because I do have all that gold. I just, it, it's going to be literally almost all my gold. Well, not quite, but most of it. Yeah, we discussed it earlier. We would help. Okay. It wasn't a very long discussion, so other people might not remember. <laughs> you know, I, I, I remember we said we would. I mean, okay, to be fair, also, I do have a fair amount of platinum. Mm. Mm. Platinum is worth more than gold. 
I know that. That's not what I meant. I meant it could be transferred into gold. You okay, could have I'll an arm made out of gold if you wanted. It no, wouldn't be that's very strong. So wild. That's uh, your going out arm. Uh, yeah, like I would be gaudy and not very useful. No. You that's have the preteen that goes you have the rich preteen that goes out with a bedazzled arm. <laughs> I mean work. Get it. She ate. But uh no. <laughs> Pass. Okay, well I'll get the really fancy one. Okay. And what are you wanting it to do? Um, and we can talk about this in game terms and not try to role play asking for like a bonus to stealth or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I don't even know what bonus I want is the problem. I don't mm -hmm. even know what I kind of need. Yeah. You, Maybe you stupid bards having everything you ever need. Oh, I know. I actually hate playing all my other characters because I'm just like, ugh, what do you mean I have a zero? <laughs> um, you could also have it set with a spell. That could be cool. Okay, how would we, that work? That's cool. Uh, enchanted. Like, enchanted to do, like, an attack. That is dope. I could just, like, have an Iron Man thing going on. And also, if you want to think about it, um, you can obviously we'll just say you have a prosthetic and then continue the adventure from here and then we'll get it sorted I mean yeah probably that unless we do battle and we need to know it I guess uh, there shouldn't be a battle today unless something goes horribly horribly wrong <laughs> alright you hear that guys don't fuck it up let's fucking go remember who you're talking go. to I'm okay with it. I'm mostly joking. Let's fuck it up. Let's fuck up this small town. Let's go re wreak havoc in the court. You could also, like, boost one of your base stats, like your wisdom or your strength. Mm. See, and I was thinking about doing that. I don't, I don't know. There's so many options. You've given me way too many options. Yeah, this is a very much, you can do whatever you want with this. <laughs> you gave me a lot of just options, and I do not know. Um... What do you mean, like, tools? Like, does it have to be a weapon? It doesn't have to be a weapon. Could have a grappling hook. Um, could shoot a net. <laughs> what? Could. Yeah. What do you mean it could have a grappling hook? Why not? It could have a buzzsaw attachment. It could have a oh buzzsaw attachment. I sometimes wish we were playing in person because you guys should see my face right now. <laughs> Holy shit. You're spending um... 1,500 gold to do something whatever you want within yeah, reason it's, like, it's not a, a i'm not giving you i kill people gun arm i want a gun for my hand yes perfect um no i mean it is a, a mostly permanent appendage so i mean it makes sense that i'd spend the most money on it mm -hmm. and it's still technically a downside from a for as, as a punishment for getting fucked up um because yeah, the true. cost plus there's upkeep and other things that we'll get into now I'm only like kind of ambidextrous now. Only when I play, fight with my sword. But yeah, so if you want to think and about juggle. it, um, you can knock off the 1500 gold here um, or split that amongst whoever wants to help pay. I um, can pay for it. I just probably can't pitch in for like sleeping and food for just a little bit until we go on another adventure. Okay, whatever you would prefer. Okay. And yeah, as uh, Ziggle said, she will include two months worth of crystals, which is four crystals. Um, they cost generally seven gold each. Do you want to get enough to last longer, or do you think two months is good enough to last you in story for now? Hmm. How, okay, so wait, I know we briefly talked about this, but how like available will this be in this side of the world? Uh, this side of the world? Just where we are in general, I think. Uh, they'll be available it. here. Just here? Yeah. Um, and then 
probably Skydesk and then like mega places, I guess. Yeah, major cities um, will have them. There's none in Erin Eve. I will buy more. Okay. Yeah, one crystal lasts two weeks and they're seven gold apiece. I'll, let, I'll trust you on the math that you're going to decide how many you take. Um, Horrible, but okay. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? Um, the only other question then is for the crystals. Do you want fire, lightning, or cold to power your arm? Lightning. Okay. Fuck yeah. I mean, wouldn't cold work better with Kashana? I mean, yeah, but now we can electrocute people. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to electrocute people. That's just what's powering your arm. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> uh, to note, cool, uh, when you take damage of lightning now, it's going to do extra damage. <gasps> so if you get hit with a lightning spell, it will hurt a little more. Ouchie. Okay, I will still take lightning, though, because of the aesthetic. I gotta respect the drip. Fair. All right, so we'll mark that off. Um, we'll figure out what that is. I will make it an item for you, and you'll have to attune to it. Nice. Um... Give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh. Oh. I was taking my money out. Now my D&D Beyond's all whack. Saving throw? Yep. Sweet. Twenty-three. All right. Uh, you very quickly get accustomed to this, and it's like, it, it's not even like you've lost your arm. It's definitely weird to move. Um, and there's like not even, you barely feel pain when it's set in. Um, Ziggle does a great job on this. Um, and yeah, like, it's definitely a little weird since it doesn't have the same range of movement that you're used to, but you're not really struggling in. Uh, moving and adapting to it. That's good. Pretty good at good adapting. And yeah, you now have a incredible arm that will figure out what it all does later. Sweet. With that, um, you guys leave the shop. Um, on a taste, you can see your group and Lore now has a mechanical arm. So I'm not out there now. You're, you're not out there. I was, I was joking. Okay, because like if if you if you went somewhere, by all means, let's talk about that. Yeah, was, you can run away. I was debating it, but I couldn't think of anything. Yeah, it'll so. be fun. Go explore. Mm hmm. Be free in the town. I mean, there's something I want to do. I don't okay. Close enough. What do you want to do? We're not near the, the castle yet, are we? You can see it. Well, that's... I can see the Calgary Tower of my window. That doesn't mean... <laughs> <laughs> you probably got the similar distance there. Okay. So we're, so we're not close. Okay, so we're not close to the castle. Yeah. <laughs> that was so much brain work to say that we're not close to yeah, the castle. Yeah, like, it's totally close to the castle. If you feel like that's not a close distance for what you want to do, then by all means. Um, you guys can start like heading that, that way, way then. I feel like you're jerking my chain for no reason here. <laughs> I don't know what you want to do. At what point are you close enough to do what you want to do? Walking distance. The doorstep. Essentially. Okay. Um, is there any other detours anyone wants to make? Not currently, no. Speak now or forever hold your peas. I'm trying to think of anything and I can't but right I this the bathroom. second. You need the bathroom? Yeah. Okay, then we will take a quick break here since we'll now be heading in towards close enough to the castle. 
<laughs> Close-ish.
you good. Get him okay. Pepper. So yeah. we do a bit of a rewind. Um, on a taste, what are you doing while everyone's inside? Well, I'm doing some recon. Okay. We're in the the capital now, right? Correct. Okay. I want to go. Is there like a ye old coffee shop nearby? Sure. By that I mean like a tavern, because I'm pretty sure that's what a ye old coffee shop is. Yeah. Um, Kale want, will be like, are you looking for something to drink or eat? Sorry? Kale oh, will ask oh, you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have my babysitter. Yeah. Uh, I'm just... Hmm. Trying to figure out what I tell her. Because I don't tell her what I'm actually doing. Right. Just thinking of wandering around while I wait for them. All right. Well, I am perfectly free as it seems they are going to be a bit that uh, I can show you whatever it is you need. Don't suppose I'm allowed to just go by myself. Uh, unfortunately, no. Well, and if I were to, I don't know, run in a direction. I think you'll find I can keep well. I can keep up quite well. Right. She says, not knowing dice are involved. She says, not knowing I can turn into an aminal. Though she might be able to do that too. This is. Really I think she knows because you turned into a dolphin. Was she watching when I did that? I'll, I'll roll to see if she was watching you do that. It's okay. I actually... She was not. Even though, she was, even though it was in the banner, I forgot I did that. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Sorry, I'm not much for having a babysitter. I apologize for the inconvenience. It is just my station and my post. I'd be in quite a bit of trouble if something were to happen to you on my watch. Very well. If you like, I can stay back uh, so it doesn't feel like I'm following you. Sure. I'm just going to that tavern over there. Ah, Morning Brew, one of my favorites. Would you say the staff there is talkative? Uh, it's been a little while since I've been there, unfortunately. Um, when uh, I did frequent it quite a bit, uh, yes. Good. I love a good chat. All right. Hey. So you can enter into uh, the morning brew. It's a little bit of a walk away. Um, but with an eyesight of the carriage. Uh, can I rightly assume that if Anates didn't go inside, they left one of the stones with him? Yeah, I think that's yeah. safe to assume. Cool. I tell people that I'm, I'm just going to uh, a tavern that's a little bit away. I'll be back. Yeah. And I mean, like, the surgery took a while, so... No yeah. problem at all. I just let them know, so they're not like, where the fuck did all the taste go? <laughs> um, and yeah, you get into the morning brew. Um, it looks like they're mostly getting ready for like dinner at the moment. Um, you can see there's like an open space in the wall to the kitchen. You see a tall uh, Goliath, bald head with like flower tattoos. Is that the barkeep? It is the barkeep. 
Amazing. Uh, I'll walk over. How close is Kaya to me? Uh, keeping a distance is not um, eavesdropping, but just keeping watch. Good. Like, if you go there, she kind of stays on the opposite side of the room to give you your privacy, but just keeping watch to make sure nothing happens. I uh, I will wave to the gentleman, gentle lady, gentle person. Gentle person. Um, gentle friend. They uh, notice you waving and uh, kind of like seem to quickly wash their hands and wipe them on their, dry them on their apron as they come out. Are they friend shaped? Uh, friend shaped is round and they're more square. Fair. Um, but seems friendly enough um introduces themselves uh hi how can i help you i'm dark walker dark walker yeah family name doesn't really match my aesthetic i know yeah i was going to say uh you, I'm sorry. You, you can see um that uh they're missing a couple fingers on the right hand well Depending on how you lost those, uh, it might match your step. Ah, uh, accidents happen. Okay. Say, I'm looking for some information that might be a little sticky. Sticky? Like a branch? Not exactly. Uh, you willing to answer a couple of questions for me? Uh, yeah, I still got a bit of time before uh, I need to really get into prep for dinner rush. Right. I can help you if that'll... Oh, no. Talking. I like the... The routine. Fair. I'm curious. I'm trying to think how subtle I want to be about this, or if I just want to. What I want to know. You see, I'm not from here. Alright. I'm from. Denmark, is that where I'm from? Theoretically. What the fuck does that that is where the uh, that is where the pond was. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, now's not the time for existentialism, Michael. You can also uh, say you're from the stars. Good, yeah, well maybe I shouldn't open with that. Uh I'm from Dawn, Mark. Um, oh, I don't see uh many travelers from that far away here. Right. Uh, and I happened to be around during a certain time and I was under the impression that a grave tragedy had happened but it appears I was mistaken Grave tragedy? She, or they seem confused by that? Yeah, they don't quite seem to know what you're referring to. That's interesting. Why don't you tell me about your Prince Martyr, was it? Oh, Prince Martyr. A bit of a odd one not much well hmm. my history uh all the princes have been a little weird mm. don't really see them too much um haven't seen them make a real public appearance in 20-ish years give or take here uh, hmm? uh, public appearance here yeah yeah, uh, they, well, their, uh, Amarta's father was a bit more of a people person than they are, 
Um, but I mean, hey, not everyone's the same. Um, if I understand correctly, Amarta kind of likes to keep the rest out of here. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of been the truth for this for everyone. Uh, I don't think any of the other princeps have been on this land for a couple generations. Unless there's been like some special occurrence. Um, Amart is even a little more uh, solitary in that aspect. But yeah, mm-hmm. used to uh, like we're coming up here on uh, um, or no, uh, usually during the uh, autumn festival, there's a big public appearance, a grand uh, display of beauty and magic, and just nothing. It's been kind of sad. And Amata hasn't has Amata made themselves apparent as of recently. Ah, uh, nothing I can think of. Right. Would you say the last time you remember hearing anything about them was when did the thing happen? <laughs> that was a few months back. Uh, let me count. One, two, three. Three. Oh my god, it's only been three months. She said the last time you really heard from them doing anything is three months ago? Uh, I suppose so, yeah. That would have been when they came and gone from uh, the big festival over in Arton. So they did come back. As far as I'm aware. Kind of weird if they didn't. No big public deal about them returning. They just kind of came in in the night. Or whenever. Not really any big fanfare for it, sadly. As I said, they're pretty solitary. Always have been. Right. Okay. I'm a bit of a royal historian. Ah. Uh, Well, I know there's a couple of libraries in town that dictate the history of the family, um, going back a few generations and whatnot. Um, If you wanted to stop in one of those, you definitely could. Um, Yeah, I wish I could tell you more. It's a little sad kind of wish we had a i i hear there's always some grand uh festivals in the other provinces and the princeps make some real headway and actually you know talk to their people that they lead but so you uh, wish you had a more active ruler (laughs) uh Yeah, a little more active would be nice. Kind of bring up the morale. Okay. Being out on the island that we are, we don't get much, you know, interaction with the rest of the provinces and peoples. Right. Uh, Do you know anything about the ban on the church here? Uh, not particularly. I mean, we don't really need it. They're all mostly about uh, protection from the blight, and we don't got that problem here. Right. Don't you find it odd that out of everywhere, you're the only place that doesn't have that problem? Honestly, never really gave it much thought. Kind of just lived my whole life like this. Uh... Honestly, I'm not even entirely sure if the Blight are real. Well, I've fought them. I can tell you they're real. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, have you had to fight any since you were here? Well, like you said, you don't have them here. Yeah. So, why would we? Why would we need? Uh, why would we need that church? 
We've even just recently opened up only to like a couple of wishes, folks. People can always find themselves in the in religion. It doesn't have to just serve a practical purpose. I suppose that's true. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that'll change one day. Like I said, uh, we got some wish here. Not in Pleawood, mind you, but may only make the way over. Maybe I'll check what that's all about. Maybe. Well, thank you. Ah, anytime. If you're looking for a nice place to eat, uh, a couple hours here and we'll have a pretty nice meal going. I'll keep it in mind. So, is there anything uh, else you kind of needed? No. All right. And then for uh, posterity's sake, when you get back is when everyone else is leaving. Oh, perfect timing. Did you have fun? Yeah. I was hoping yeah. they'd know more than they did, but it was fine. What you talk about? He just kind of taps his nose. Ooh, Santa. Got it. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> I, I wasn't. I was going to be like, oh, you were talking about your nose. Who's... Oh. Who, who, who's You've been Santa? sniffing around. Who's Santa? <laughs> Sorry. Well, technically speaking, he is an elf. Yeah, he's Centris's uncle. <laughs> what? Second <Wow>. cousin. <laughs> Twice removed. Centris. You know, he comes once a once a year. <laughs> As we all know, that's how family so names work, does. right? <laughs> He buys everyone presents and just hands them out. Oh, see, that's what I am at the end of the year. <laughs> that's why uh, his interest left was because uh, he loved his uncle or second cousin way more than his dad. Okay, so Zin has just admitted that he is Santa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which has blown my entire perception of, you know, who I thought he was. Well, where's our present? Yeah, you never give this He is the present. It's not the end of the year yet. <laughs> yeah, it's not in-game December yet. Hmm. It's only in-game well, October. It will never be in-game December. <laughs> yeah, it's been in-game October for a while. As it should be. We're like mid October. We're never getting to Fantasy Halloween. It is currently uh, end game uh, October 13th. Is it an end game nice. Friday? We're never getting to Halloween. <laughs> this world doesn't even have a Halloween. Ugh. You haven't met us yet, have you? We're going to bring forth Halloween to the people. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so with that, you guys can continue <laughs> towards uh, the castle. Um, the giant tree looms taller and taller, um, high above you. Uh, there is around it a uh, uh, walled off with gates. Um, how close do you need to be on it, Ace? Uh, well, if we're just going there, it's... It's fine. Are you sure? I was basically going to do what I just did, but at the actual castle. Oh, fair enough. But I mean, yeah, that was your destination, was the castle, so. Yeah. We'll probably end up there one way or another. Mm -hmm. One way or another. 
gonna find ya. I'm gonna <laughs> get you, get you. Um, so. Give me one second here. Taste, you want to see my cool arm? Look at this. <laughs> that is a cool arm. Okay. Thank you. I. It's the, there's a grappling hook in it. A grappling hook. Yeah, I haven't quite figured out how to use that, but that is what I asked for. Oh, why? I. <laughs> Don't know, honestly. It <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I was like, I don't really use swords, and I'm pretty sure that uh, permanent harmonica would get really annoying really fast. So I decided this one could be cool, and maybe also it could have been in use the like four other times that I almost died. So I'm yeah. Just I'm just glad you didn't put some kind of thunder wave machine inside of it, so... No, it is um, powered by lightning, so I mean if you hit it really hard it might explode, but also I would be electrocuted probably. So, as the gates <laughs> open to the castle... <laughs> Eventually, someone will do a jump cut to when that happens later. <laughs> yeah. Um, as the gates to the castle uh, grounds open, you can definitely see that either the building is built into the tree or the tree has slowly been consuming this castle. Um, but you do get to... Yes, yes then? No, it's both. <laughs> it's both. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Um, gates are opened. You get to be led inside. Um, Kayla and Sean are dismissed, but Bran will stick with you guys when you get uh, to take you to a nice uh, seating area. Bran's obsessed. Bren is doing his job. <laughs> Good thing I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I do believe that it is close to dinner time, so I think you will all get a chance to eat before meeting with Amarta. You know, I just looked at the fucking clock like, oh my god, is it dinner time already? Oh god. <laughs> anyway, Amarta? Yes, uh, I believe you'll be having dinner beforehand. Um, so we, I'll lead you to the, uh, dining hall. Sure. Um, walking through the castle, it is very reminiscent of being inside, um, Arton's castle, and then for some of you inside of Knox castle, um, the same white stone that matches that of the ruins um this one though has very winding halls um and you can definitely like feel like you're inside of a tree you just kind of have that feeling around you um but yeah the same dining hall kind of layout um there's lots of workers and guards that are uh, eating it's a pretty grand feast going on um uh yeah do you guys actually eat or do you just kind of discuss while waiting is bren hanging out what is the food uh lots of vegetables <laughs> There's mm. there's a wide variety of stews and cured meats and cooked meats and uh, lots of stuff like that. 
surely there's fish. Well, I would get some of the meats to uh, Marigold, who I've taken back from Anates. Yeah, uh, Marigold's with you. He's now. He is now? He is now. Well, he was with Anates for a bit, and now he's with me. Okay. How's, how's uh, Marigold adapting to the metal arm? Pretty good. Um, I feel like he has switched up how he stands on my shoulders. No, he's got to go to my uh, my alive arm. Because every time I pet him, like I turn my arm to pet him, it's cold. Mm, yes. So if he stands on the other side, maybe I'll pet him with my warm arm. Um, what is everybody's passive perception? Jeez. Uh, 17. 14. 15. 13. Okay. I know Callie is currently busy dealing with things. Um, I think hers is a 10. Possibly. Based um, on I have a 0 and, and I have a 10 passive right. investigation. So. Um, Anates and Zinn, you notice that for the members of the Ren branch... Um, there seems to be like two kind of rankings going on. Um, the ones that have been accompanying you the last few days here have all had like a poppy over their heart uh, on their armor. Um, there seems to be another set. Um, they have like a mushroom. <laughs> um, they don't seem to like interact with anyone. Um, keep you much more to themselves. Very quiet. Um, and are just kind of off to the sides of the building, the hall, just kind of standing guard, very still. Mm. But uh, other than that, the food is good. It's great food. Um, definitely the best of the best have been making this. Interesting. But uh, like, earlier I asked if Brad was vibing. I meant, like, was he with us? Oh, yeah. He's still sticking nearby you. Um, like an itch that won't go away. Yeah. Not not um, watching as intently as before. Um, still smiling. All of the Wren's Branch people are smiling. Um, except the ones with the mushrooms. I like Brent. I think we should just let him part be part of our team. I like I keep He's making NPCs that everyone's like, let's make them a permanent aspect. Do you prefer that we didn't like them? Yeah, I hate Brent. Get I him mean, out of here. I don't want to see his face ever again. It'd be nice sometimes, <laughs> you know. I'm kidding. Uh, I mean, yeah. there's certainly been mayors we hated. Mm hmm. <laughs> We do hate most authority figures <laughs> and think that we can override them. Oh my god. And in some cases you have succeeded. Yeah, well, we're going to come for all of them eventually. Yeah. Um, Overthrow every authority and throw everything into chaos. Yeah, we don't need authority. We'll be the authority. <laughs> I think that is your guys' goal. Something along those lines. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do the next bit till Callie can get back. While you guys are in the hall, though, is there anything you wanted to do, see, or say? Ask? I will say, uh, as coy as I was being about it when you first met them, seeing all these people smiling greatly is unnerving. Yeah, I imagine. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. Is there any, like, fun There is no dead princept in Mordren. What was that lore? 
Is there anything, any fun decor or like interesting things? Um, unsurprisingly, the majority of the decor is uh, plants. Um, which That's may or may okay. not bring up some bad memories of a time you had. Um, plants are okay. Um, can I sneak a, a seed into one of them? Into one of the plants? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can. Okay. You, if you're sneaking it, can I get a sleight of hand check? Uh, 22. 22? Yeah, as you're, like, walking by something, uh, you can very easily slip a seed inside. Good. Would you like to see if it does anything? Yes. Uh, as you, like, walk away from your very stealth, um, seed planting... Um, you can see that it has begun to sprout immediately. Wow. Self seeding. So good. I am loving how many seeds that I have planted lately. I forgot I had them, um, to be honest with you. And then I found them in my inventory and I was like, ha ha ha, I forgot what I was doing. Or use leech seed. Mm hmm. Right, that's all I have, I guess. I don't know. Okay. I'm just looking around, I suppose. Um, Mel, you had said you wanted to talk to Bren. Uh, yeah, if I could do that with all my dad. Percussion? Per percussion? 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 Yeah, percussion. I mean, I said it earlier, like a yeah. while ago. Like, yeah. I can't want... exactly 100% remember, but I'll try. Okay. Um, do you want to help Callie first? <laughs> she said she doesn't need help. Oh, okay. There, there's no way to help me because he is lost in the carpet and he scuttered away and I don't know where he went and that's why I'm freaking out. So there's nothing to do. So I'm okay. I just need a minute. Okay. Okay. Yeah, then, uh, Bren will, uh, be like, is there something I can help you with, Velky? So many things. I mean, like, first of all, now that we're here, who are all these people? Who are all these people? No, who, who is... It? Would you like me to name yeah. them all for you? Oh, oh, no, I mean in a more, like, uh, overarching sense. Oh. Well, uh, overarching sense, everyone, as you can see, that is dressed similar to me. Uh, we are all members of Ren's branch. We are the main military force of the province. Um, and as such, we are stationed mostly in the capital. Um, and as in the capital, we stay in the uh, castle. And there are stations throughout the city, but this is kind of the main area. Um yeah. Okay. What about the others? Which others? Well, if I can call the DM's memory. I think you said that there were other workers here, not just friends. friends. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you have, like, the regular cooks, the cleaners. Um, historians kind of come through here quite a bit. They just all come to eat dinner together. When of it when they need to. This is kind of the main time when dinner is ready, so anyone not currently on shift duty will uh, come and eat. Um, the general staff of the place. It takes a lot of people to keep uh, this place tidy, as you can kind of see with all the plants growing everywhere. A lot of gardeners. I kind of, I like that they just everybody gets to eat together. It's nice. Yeah, it's convenient. Um, we don't really have individual housing, so uh, a giant hall like this just makes it easier. Makes 
sense. Um, I was hoping to speak with you again about Amata before. Of course. So whether you want me to do that here or elsewhere. Uh, I don't imagine there should be any problem with it here. Okay. There's a lot I wanted to talk about, but I didn't write it down, so... You know, like on my hand. <laughs> so some of it I've forgotten. But... In your... Experience... Though, I, I don't know how... Extensive that experience is. We spoke about it briefly. How does one approach Marta? Um, with great respect. I mean, yes, as one should. <laughs> so, well. I believe uh, for general populace, a bow would be uh, suitable. Um, It's hard to say. Uh, in my life, they haven't made very many public appearances. Will you be in the room with us? Uh, no, I shall not. I believe... Why? Uh, why? Why? <laughs> yes, I didn't mean for it to come out like that. The fizz in my voice. The wine. <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, I am not privy to such... Um matters i believe the advisor will be with you um there will be some guard um in there but my job is mostly to just escort you until your meeting if i were to ask you to keep an ear out would you do that for me keep an ear out mm -hmm. um, as i said we've talked about this briefly the forest mm -hmm. and my fears perhaps I've come to trust you in the brief time we've spent together I'm sure I could keep nearby um, considering I've been on a long uh, job currently I believe after we part ways I would be able to take rest um, so I can stick around in the area I just fear for the worst they look at and you I quite puzzled <laughs> I fear if you'd like me to spell it out for you that Amata might actually be dead well, that would be quite strange um, I feel we would very much know of that and yet you haven't seen a martyr since they came back. Yeah, they're very solitary. Um, I'm not the highest ranking individual. Um, but I trust you to trust me in saying that if something terrible happens, perhaps the worst that I can think of is that a martyr has been dead for a while and uh, they simply just want to pin it on me or anyone here. That would be awful, right? Uh, make a persuasion check. No. Give myself guidance, please. <laughs> if I may. <laughs> Tap myself on the back. A good boy. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good roll. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. 18 plus 4 on my guidance. Um, yeah, they'll be like, that would be quite strange, and I assure you that that is not the case here, um, but I will keep in the, uh, vicinity, and they kind of whisper, and I will vouch for you if need be, if anything of the sort were to arise. I can only thank you for that. <laughs> I can assure you, though, that 
precautions will be made to make sure that that's not a possibility. And if Amata is in fact alive, I have been. I will eat my shorts if it comes to that, and offer an apology. Um, well, uh, there's plenty of food here, so there shouldn't be any need for any short eating. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that would... I think right. I'm okay. That was the main thing. I live in fear. You live in fear. <laughs> Would I be the kind of person to try and pin the death on you? Yes. Yes, if if the last uh, capital is anything to go on. Hmm. Interesting. So... Is it, is it interesting, Michael? Is it? Uh, after you've all had your fill of food... Um, you're led towards the great hall to the throne room as it were words um but before you get there you are first led to a um side room i guess a bit of a kind of a waiting area um and there are a couple more members of ren's branch there um and bren takes post outside um, one of them says to you, uh, as for precaution, uh, as you are meeting with a princept, we do ask that all weapons, components, focuses are left here for safety. Uh, um, <laughs> oh my God, did you hear that? Okay. Yes. Sorry about it. I thought so. <laughs> I heard it. It came through on my mic, so I was like, "Using in the distance." Um, what if I'm not a hundred percent comfortable with leaving my lantern? But... Uh well, as I'm sure you understand, we need to take precaution. We do not want any. Thing to happen to our beloved Princept. Um, you will, of course, get them back after uh, your meeting. <laughs> My child. Um. Would it be okay if I left it with Bren? Uh, yes, I believe that would be perfectly fine. Thank you. He took care of it for me once. So. Okay, and that to him. And I'll so, give everything else over willingly. Okay, fair enough. Um, everyone else, do you hand over all your uh, weapons and such? Am I, yeah, is my there. violin allowed to stay on my back? Does he have to take his arm off? <laughs> I didn't take off my arm. I just got that thing put back they're, on. They're, put they're on. not gonna. They're not gonna take your arm. Um, I know it's removable, but like, I leave the stumps. Got to like, acu no, this is good. acclimate. I'd be very upset with them if they tried to. Take um, if you want to try and keep your violin, you're going to have to make some sort of check. Okay, can I huge wait? Um, can I persuade them? Yeah, you can persuade them. It's not. It's no weapon. It's just uh, a instrument. Uh, disadvantage. Mm, okay. Well, it's an eighteen. Um, they look it over. <laughs> they kind of think about it, and they're like, "I guess that would be fine." Thank you. Is my ferret also allowed to accompany us? Yes. Okay, good. Also, to, to answer your question, I give all visible weapons. Okay, what's not visible? 
<laughs> know what's not visible, Michael. Yeah, I do know what's not visible. Can you give me a sleight of hand or deception? Which one of those am I better at? Uh, I don't have dice out. Uh, Why? Because I had to put them all away because Murphy takes them off my desk. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Because <laughs> she jumps up and goes toy and then puts, grabs it in her mouth and runs away to go play with it. She's good. She's perfect. She is. Much like me. This means who are we talking about? Who Murphy? is doing this? Murphy. Okay, that's Murphy. who I thought. So I had to mute because I'm crunching. I don't have another cat. I know, uh, I just was double checking. Oh, I thought you did have another cat. 15. 15? Tell Murphy I love her. Okay. It's like she's sleeping beside me. Um, unfortunately, they do you. notice that you seem to be keeping something. Oh, no. They do ask, <laughs> as we said, for the safety of our princess, we ask that all weapons, components, and focuses be given over. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go down. Me either. <laughs> it's cute. Uh, I'll focus. I have to get them my tablet. I was born with that. <laughs> Yeah. Pan Pantalore making that sneaky little face at you guys. Uh, on a <laughs> face will take out his yikola okay. and try to put it on the table. Okay. Uh, give me a wisdom saving throw. Keep Hawkeyes on him. Thankfully I'm good at wisdom saves. Not when I roll a four, I'm not. Twelve? I was about to say famous last words, no. <laughs> uh, for this instance, twelve is enough. Oh. Uh, you feel you very weird bad. and oddly empty when it drops on the table. Oh, I don't like <laughs> Um, But for the first time, you are without it. Okay. Uh, Callie, how does Kashana go about? Um, well, I'll lay my stuff out, but, um, I want to try and persuade them to let me keep the, the empty, uh, like, cause on my back is that, uh, is where I keep Chills of Chaos, but it's yeah. empty, remember? Yeah, it is empty. It is basically just a handle. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, give me a persuasion on that. Sorry, I don't have persuasion. Yep. Yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Um. So they look it over. Do you hand it over so they can like inspect it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they look it over and they think, uh, yeah, I guess that should be fine. Um, no weapon here or anything. Yep. No weapon there. Um, Zintris. Yes. Uh, do you hand over everything? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Really? No. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> what? So. You're packing heat, though. Packing so many weapons. Um, going in with but a uh, empty scabbard and a violin. Hee hee hee. What more can you need? It's I got stay strapped. <laughs> oh, I guess I should technically ask. Um, or rather clarify. Maybe I'll clarify your DMs real quick. You keep talking. Okay. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, so with that, you are then uh, led not far to the entrance of the great hall throne room um there's a guard posted outside um and they just ask uh, how you would like to be uh addressed to the princept for your entrance are we here as a group or are we here individually <laughs> 
That is up to you. You could be addressed individually as you walk in or as a group together. Yes, that was in character, I'm asking. Everyone. Was my accent not thick enough? Light on thicker. <laughs> Get it all in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was horrible. Well, I want to be introduced. Separately. We might as well go individually, because uh, they would have known us individually because we hadn't established the name the court yet. Yeah, but now would be the time to establish the name the court. Mm -hmm. We could go in as the court and then individually... We could just be Onatis and the court, but but Onatis is part of the court. Mm. Sounds like a terrible. Yeah, we could there. be. We could literally be, yeah. uh, the court, and then Zintra's Kishana, Law Historia, the Great Onatis, and Vilk. And Vilk. And Vilk. <laughs> I would prefer my full name if possible. <laughs> Vilk is at least one other letter and six other letters. We really didn't think this through. <laughs> Valkyrie? No. <laughs> I, I, I would, on I would say that's court. a good idea. Is is introduce us as the court, and then go you know on on a taste, um, Velky, and so on and so forth. Et cetera, et cetera, yeah, all of us. Great. Well, Okay. Um, what's the order you're going to enter then? Me first. On a taste. No okay. shit. Yeah, we weren't gonna ever fight that. So I said your name first. <laughs> me before you. Me first. <laughs> okay. We all expect it. Kick and... down the door. I'm here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good. I know. I know. I'm here for my throne. <laughs> yeah. Get, a, get off my throne, Amarta. You're in my seat. Or the dead body thereof. <laughs> You're in my it's seat. It's just on the throne. Nobody has ever decided to take it off. <laughs> Man, me first. Okay. Um, does anyone really care the order otherwise? No. No. Okay. We all know there's only one important person right there. Yeah. I, I make Velky go second. I'm, hold I'm holding his hand. I feel like we should just have uh, Anates choose because Anates is technically the leader. Mm -hmm. The rest of us are just kind of here to vibe, you know. I'm just, I'm just here. I don't care the order beyond me before beyond me and Velky first. Okay, then. Uh, just as remember that when we have to like, help is... you get into court. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, as that is established. Um, person goes in first the door is opened and with a grand uh there's a little bit of a trumpet um that wasn't the trumpet teddy <laughs> teddy's like oh i can do that i can do it i can do it and he just hawk hacks up a hairball <laughs> gross <laughs> um a little bit of a trumpet and it is just uh mm. from the court on a taste velky the great the great the the great Onates, Velki, Kashana, Lore, and Zintris. And as you're led yeah. in, the this is definitely quite the throne room. Um, you can see what would be like a part of the tree maybe even like the center of the tree and the throne itself is like built either into or out of the tree oh. um incredible like there's uh braziers lit all over both green fire um down the way like everything here inside is like stone and wood um there's a nice red carpet that leads up to the throne itself. Um, you see standing beside um, a, a female elf. Uh, t -t -t -t. She has uh, curly brown hair, very pale. Um, 
doesn't seem like too interested in what's going on um whether that's actual disinterest or how she is you can't quite tell um and i give warning currently uh to mel because of uh the wilhelm's figure is about to pop on screen <laughs> why, why, why warning jump scare why is he like this why does he look like Xehanort but a baby oh, sorry yeah. I'll mute myself that's why he you does look me. like Xehanort yeah. but a baby yeah um, but at, on the right there s- sitting in the throne very very pale um, messy unkept hair um, they got like dirt on their robes um book at the side some sort of vials as well um prince septimarta as you get closer uh they look gaunt like they haven't eaten in a long time um they're so pale they don't look like they've seen the sun maybe ever not really trying are they are they even alive like real this one trying to find out (laughs) yeah um, well, I, but no, even even that, so, but... as you get closer, like uh, still very beautiful features, um, like like how you kind of picture the nobility and royalty kind of pretend or act like they are. Uh, Amarta very much is like immaculately sculpted. Yeah, they are really pretty. Um. You can see the glowing green crystal around their neck. My crystal. Uh, your crystal. Um, and on their left arm is a golden bracer, bracer um, with a ruby set in the middle. And it's kind of decorated in like swords and knives and a staff. Um, kind of like gilded on. They just kind of look at you, uh, one hand at their chin. Well, welcome. Thank oh, you sorry. for. I got a bow. My apologies. <laughs> bow. Does everybody bow? No. Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I, I slap my forehead. Bowie <laughs> nod. I do a little bow. Not a full bow, but not whatever Kashana's doing right now. Standing you gotta, straight. You gotta not respect that. those who came before you. <laughs> <laughs> you have to respect Man, your predecessors. Not take you out now. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, like the guiding bolt of Marta, please. <laughs> you can't. Can you not? Uh, no, I can't. I would like the magic stone of Marta, please. <laughs> Do you actually? No. Okay. Ah, uh, which of you is uh the one that I'm supposed to be meeting with? technically me all right uh i am amarta princept of mornren my demise were greatly exaggerated (laughs) jesus christ Uh, would you like the good news or the bad news like the middle of the road news okay um they seem alive yeah yeah i'll say can i uh, can i make any check for that yeah you can make an insight you can make a perception i would I'll also make... like to do one of those oh well, i'll make an insight because i have advantage the ring I'll... i didn't give the ring up i'll make an insight because it's fun. oh wow okay uh natural 20 for 27 please okay uh 
12 for 17. Okay, well, for both of you, um, yeah, you can tell they look alive. Um, if not, maybe they should eat and go outside. Um, there's no... There doesn't seem to be any weird movement, like they're being puppeted or, like, um, animated in some odd way. Um, they seem pretty disinterested overall. Disinterested? Disinterested. They are not very zintrous. Mm. Well, that's good to know. One can match the zintrous. But, uh, I am uh, Velky and a prince of... I'm not a prince of what I meant to say. Who's not a cleric? Prince of Wilhelms. I'm sorry. This is just it's very startling. Startling? Yeah. I mean, you look well. Thank you. You all look well as well. I hope the travel over was fine. It was, it was good. A little bit of trouble here and there. Nothing Bren couldn't handle. So I believe when we were contacted, this is about bringing the church to Mornren. Yes. As I'm sure you know, uh, that has never happened. You have made it further onto this land than any. Yes. May I ask why the church wishes to come here? Well, as you have so astutely said, it is not. And I've experienced that now. And, um, of course... On one hand, we were always uncertain if the claim was true. There's no one who was ever really allowed to come here. It made it hard to verify. Though that's only part of it. From my understanding, it also was from a place of care, of worship, not of just the blight. I don't think that we would have asked, let alone sent me as an envoy, if the only concern or the only care was the blight. Because we could only assume that you were correct. So why send me at all if it wasn't for... Then uh, what else? Of, of, you know, love. <laughs> Do you think there are any other direct purposes to bring the church here? Opportunity. Okay. What sort of opportunity? For us or for the church? For you. The opportunity to choose. Hmm. You mentioned worship before. Um... There are many types of worship. A lot here worship nature itself and its wondrous bounty and gifts. It's gorgeous here. Yeah. I admit. Sage, sage nod. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. earth and the forest and the water and the sky can be as beautiful and as dangerous as any deity. I've noticed. You had asked me, or you had said that I look well. Could you, could you explain that a little more? You um, seemed almost surprised I was here. Well, in all honesty, you worship I am. I, I was under the impression that I would only be... Kind of looks over at their advisor. Uh, and why is that? 
I also <laughs> like to like glance over at me in my Yeah, you've seen her before and there's some clear recognition on her face for some of you. Um, she was very much at the meeting of the princeps. Um, the last you saw of her would have been presumably dragging away the corpse of her princept along with a few others. Right. And does she look upset by me saying anything like that? Make an insight check. Can I also okay. insight check? <laughs> okay. Uh, dirty 20. Uh, 24. Um, she hasn't really made any sort of emotion since you got here. Um, if there were some signs of recognition of it, you can't tell. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I should probably start waffling and just, if I may. I was at the. Well, I was present during your last trip to Arton. There we go. <laughs> it was in there somewhere. <laughs> um, I saw what happened to you. Or at the very least, I saw the aftermath. As you say that, there's some recognition on their face, and they kind of light up a little more. It's like, oh, now I understand. You saw it. Ah, oh, this is actually quite interesting. Um, I have some questions. Then, um, did you get to? Did we interact while you were there? Um, did we speak? Did we do anything? Um, you and I? Yes. No. Oh. By the time I had arrived, you were... Or rather, what I thought was you, or assumed was you, you were being dragged out of the room. Dead. Oh, that's quite disappointing. Eve, why? Well, research notes would have been nice. There wasn't... I haven't had a chance to talk to anyone who had seen me. Um, hmm. Not even Eve. I... Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you implying you were being impersonated? No. Yes. No. No. Uh, that was me. That was I. Um, and not I. It's a long story. Um... Yeah, let, let's. I that was a bit of a test, um, and from what Eve had said, it was uh, quite a uh, gotta remember. Um, her name is Eden, not Eve. Oh right, you yeah. put it wrong in the thing, so I I've put been it reading wrong. it. This yeah. <laughs> We talked yes. about that. Already. Yeah, we talked about that last time. Um, Eden. Eden. Initial test went great. Eden told me how good it went. Um, and like, but it's not the same as like someone new, you know? I'm sorry. Can you slow down for a moment? What are you talking about? Well, the second body, of course. Second body of who? Of me. It was a test. How does that work? I'm confused. Can um, you start over, maybe? What? Who were you testing? Us? Or like? No, she was them? testing the they, world. They were. Uh, they were testing a puppet body. What? Uh, sort of sounds like. Well, I feel like I'm missing some information. We all are. It's okay. Yeah, can you start over maybe? Oh, I know. Sure, that. sure, 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 sure. I'll start I'll what? start over. My apologies. I just got I, I got a little excited. Um oh. they kinda of paused for a second. Um 
Who all has feathers from Keiku out? Me. Me? Uh, I guess me. Well, mine's in my hair, just like one. Yeah. yeah. Mine yeah. had to get left behind. Left behind? It's in the tablet. The my, tablet. Oh, he, right. He molded, yes. He melded Earth Tiz feather right. into his I forgot head. about that. They just kind of pause. Those are some interesting feathers some of you have. Thank you. The, you did digress in a little bit. Uh, well, I mean, you have asked many questions. I, they just look familiar. Where did you get those? A friend. A friend. Hmm. All right. Um, oh, yes, I'll start at the beginning. Um, I've been researching a way to extend life as sorts. Um, this would actually just be easier if I showed you. Would you mind following me? Um, do we have much of a choice? Yeah, I guess. There's always a choice. I, I, I to understand fully, yes, I to see what you mean. Yeah, it, it would be easier to explain what I'm talking about if you could just see. Yeah, sure. All right, a field trip. Uh, they stand up um, and just kind of wave their hand, and suddenly there's a like a walking stick in it, and they start uh, making their way uh, out to, uh, towards the side of the hall, and you're free to follow. I'm follow. <laughs> yeah. Um, and as you follow... You all start heading down, like downstairs, downstairs, downstairs. And they say, sorry, it is such a roundabout way to get there. Um, the temperature needs to be just right. And quite a bit down in the roots of the tree uh, is the perfect conditions. And eventually... Okay. Hmm? That is the most ominous way to say literally anything. <laughs> um, Hope you're aware of that. May I ask one more thing before we go in? Yeah. Did you know that you were going to die? No. Not at all. Um, that was quite a shock. Um, though quite interesting to see the body after the fact. Really happy with how well it held up. Um, a little fine-tuning mm. needed, but... Um, Do you know who attacked you? Uh, from what Eden said, there was like some sort of attack. People in black, like dark black clothing. Um, she said that the theory was that there was that uh, Tone and Emmett attacked everybody. Seems kind of preposterous to me, but uh, don't really care. Perhaps you should care just a little bit if I may be so bold so they don't really seem to respond to that um, but as you're led down um, there's a grand metal door um, and when they open it and they step forward um, it, that is a large chamber emitting like a very green glow um and where you step you're out on like a balcony kind of thing um and you can look down and there are rows and rows and rows and rows of uh containers tubes with a liquid inside um, in the center of this laboratory-like space is a large chamber, uh, and in the center is glass with a light kind of um, glowing inside, and I need everyone to make a perception check. Perception. The natural one. 
so rough. Well, 23. Cal 23. Callie, That's I actually need you to make yours an advantage. Advantage? Yes. I also got a Do I get to know why? You will. I also, also got a 23. Really? Wow, 23, buds. Okay, 23. well... Hmm. For the advantage, I'll use a luck point, I guess. Because that didn't go well. Maybe you're just not allowed to do well on this one. Okay. A 18 this time. Okay. And what was Zin's? 11. 11? Oh. Oh, okay. Um, so everyone but Zin... Um, as you're looking and you see this light pulsating, um, every now and then you can see like sparks or something, uh, glittering of a very familiar red and black, um, coming out of it and then they dissipate. But then as you're looking down, um, within the, te these, uh, tubes are at varying stages um more amartas like an army's worth of amartas growing some are like half plant um others are more human um varying stages from like tiny saplings to full grown um they just kind of say beautiful isn't it i always wondered how you could extend a life and eventually it came to me that if you could just create more of yourself, then that's basically the same as extending your own life. Because then you can just keep being over and over and over and over again. Is it though? It's a start. Do you channel the memories? This is not a yet. Lot of my language, but this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's wonderful. This is a brand new step in human uh, humanoid development. Uh, the memory thing is currently a problem. As I said, I don't know what happened in Arton. Um, but the bodies themselves are basically identical. Uh, the test I had was to see if anyone would even notice if it wasn't actually me there. And as far as I can tell, that was a success. No one even knew mannerisms speech uh they have my memories which was very convenient uh just an actual perfect copy still in the testing phases you are the original yes um so far the only one that i've actually sent out into the world was unfortunately killed um, but that's fine. Clearly that one wasn't quite up to snuff um, and able to defend itself. Um, clearly my magical capabilities aren't fully passed on yet. I'm hoping with the next set that we'll kind of get a bit closer on that. But at the very least, the physical body, which is the basis, uh, that is sound. So that's what I was testing, and the fact that uh, you had seen a body and couldn't even tell it wasn't even initially human to begin with is just incredibly, incredibly good news for my research. I have a lot of questions. I'm sure we all... <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one with questions. I honestly came here not expecting very much, because uh, this is sort of a more Anate's Velky plot, but I'm along for the ride. Um, but now I have a lot of questions and a lot of things that I... So if you died, would they die? Uh, would just the continuation go on? You just keep going, is... but all your memories would go and it'd just be like a newborn... But that like would be very person? difficult to test currently. Um, my hope is that when I die, there is another me. Um, and hopefully I could retain memories through each body, but um, that'll take some far testing. But that is the end goal, is that I will continue on. Why? 
Why? Why would you do this? Because there's so much that I need to learn and discover about the world. And one life is not nearly enough. But why like this? This is horrible. I hate it here. <laughs> like a school I'm gets to go in front of somebody. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just I have so many questions and I don't know how to like word them. So honestly, if I could just sort of get my general the why is because this is how I figured out how to do it, and I'm on the way there. But you can't just like extend your life or anything like that's that so far out of the possibility that you just grow a whole bunch of test tube versions yourself. Do you know a way to immortality? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't. Um, we did definitely test that out recently. That I am, in fact, not mortal. I never I thought I that. was. Shut up! I never thought I was, but I just mean like you know. When you oh, no. <laughs> Like, my, I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. I'm just, I'm thrown off by this whole uh, uh, situation that's happening in front of me. Um, I'm sorry, please bear my manners. I, I will compose myself better. Um, no, I never thought that I was immortal, but you know when you're like, immortal till you're proven wrong? No. <laughs> what? I don't <laughs> think most people think they are immortal. But I will be. I mean, a See, copy of you will be. It's not going to be you. It's going to be like just a clone of yourself. Um, trust me, I I'm understanding a lot of the irony in this, personally, but mm -hmm. not great. Um, Callie. Mm -hmm. Uh For the reason why you had advantage on that, as you look at that light and feel that pulsing um you feel that same push in the back of your mind that says it must be stopped <sighs> that it must be destroyed it must be contained um before though uh you have any chance to act on something such as that um amarta looking at lore being like i actually have a few questions of my own much of your friend who gave you that feather and they stamp down their walking stick and a puff of spores envelops the area i need everyone to make a constitution saving oh, throw hold up. No. Hold up. <laughs> no, no. is that a spell it is not a spell fuck me it is it is a place covered in plants con save mm, no 14 on save Michael? Yep. 21. Okay. No, no, three. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk ever again. Uh, 11. 11? Uh, and Velky. Yeah, I, I got a nat one. Nat one? Yeah, okay. I got a two, so I'm at a three. <laughs> Lore, Onates, Velky, Zen, you are out. Kashana, you feel it taking oh, you, but so you get familiar. one action. Like I'm about to pass out? Yep. But you get one full action, whatever you want it to be. And they took all my components? They took your components. Um, you still have your uh, sword. Do you use components or do you use a focus? Components. Hmm. I thought that your point was to leave us much hmm? <laughs> defenseless. Oh, I, th I thought Michael's. Yeah, my plan oh, was to yeah. leave you defenseless. <laughs> I wonder I'm why. If there's like anything I can do. Take the arm out of Lore's bag and smack her. <laughs> I'm I'm yeah. contemplating smack her with my severed arm. Fuck! I wish I would have like 
said that I tried to stow some components on me. Because otherwise I would cast Shatter. Right. And then we would all die. Yes. <laughs> no, this is a very big area. It is, I know, we're just... I was making a joke. I apologize. I was going to say campaign two time. Here we go, baby. <laughs> How how far away is she from us? Uh, Marta, they are like feet, like ten feet at most from you. How much health do we think we have? She has, guys. <laughs> a lot. I mean, do much. Do it. Take her. Mm -hmm. I. It's not going to be up. much of an action, unfortunately. Yeah. It's the I'm principle, though, right? Yeah, I'm like, do anything just to even make a statement, you know? Yeah, you have one action. Okay. Um, let me read this real quick. Sorry, sorry, I'm taking so long. No worries. This is a very important time to take. <laughs> How strong do we think she is? She looks pretty fucking frail. Uh, Amarta is they, them. Sorry. No worries. Um, they... <laughs> I'll tell you, like, fr fragility. Uh, their strength is an eight. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. someone's Soon. in is stronger then. Are we assuming they are point. very smart? Oh, probably. Yeah. They're, they're making clothes of themselves. Yeah, that's what I mean, I'm doing. This absolute abomination. Just Keep in mind, they statement. are a druid. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stumble forward. Because I'm assuming I'm about to pass out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stumble towards them. I'm going to be like, let's see if I can give that test with your new theory arms of Autocus. it doesn't need any components i just need to do a verbal and a somatic okay and it's a 10 foot range so she can't really get away from me or they can't get away okay. from me uh what's the reading of that spell you invoke the power of Autocus. uh tendrils of dark energy erupt from me and batter batter all creatures within 10 feet of me sorry if anybody gets hit each it's creature okay. in that area must make a strength saving throw. Okay. On a failed save, the target takes uh, the damage and can't take reactions until it's their next turn. If they save, they take half damage. And okay. we auto fail. Uh, I will say for the sake of um, the fun we'll of this. It. It'll be funny. Um. Mm -hmm you rush forward because you get like an action but you can still do your movement and stuff for okay. it um you rush forward and kind of tackle amarta out of the group nice uh strength saving throw yep they have to beat a 15 uh that is a six they gotta take they can't do any reactions for their next turn which i guess won't matter but who knows maybe that'll help and i get to deal 5d6 of necrotic damage okay uh, 16 necrotic damage probably didn't even do shit to them okay takes you uh tackle them you knock them down um your spell goes off you know that much before the darkness takes you um what happens in that chamber from then on you don't know um all you do know is eventually you awaken and it takes a moment to like wear off um heads pounding um, Kashana, mm -hmm. Velki, 
You see each mm. other in some sort of holding cell. Zentris, Lore, you see each other in your own holding cell. And Onates, when you awaken, uh, you sit up and you see across from you in a holding cell a very frail and hungry looking black kanku. And with that, we'll call it for tonight. For good is defense Dang, against magical are. sleep when none of the sleep is okay. magical. <laughs> so, Wait, yeah, like that wasn't like a sleep, was it? No. It was spore, so it wasn't magical. It was not magical. Okay. I will give you all a heads up um, on it. Um, Amarta is a spore druid. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> that, that checks. Um, I want to thank everybody for playing here tonight. That was really good. Um, we got exactly where I wanted to. I actually planned that out for the perfect timing. Um, I hope you all had fun. We'll be back again next week to kind of see where it goes from here. Yeah. Bye-bye. Arrivederci.